participatory three-dimensional mapping, Jelapan Hamlet, Sindu Martani Village, Sleman Regency. Jelapan Hamlet is located in Sindu Martani Village, Changkringan District, Sleman Regency, approximately 15 kilometers from the top of Mount Merapi. It is a potentially rich area with land resources supporting sand mining activity and agriculture. During the 2010 Merapi eruption, the areas of Jelapan Hamlet were affected by primary hazards, especially pyroclastic flows, and threatened by lava flow as secondary hazard. On 22nd March 2011, 41 houses in the neighborhood were flooded after lava rain in undated Jelapan, making it one of the areas in Sleman region seawards affected by lava. The team from the Master Program on Disaster Management, Universitas Gajah Mada, collaborating with the Center for Disaster Studies, Universitas Gajah Mada, responded to the disaster occurrence by designing an activity called Participatory Three-Dimensional Mapping, P3DM, in Jelapan Hamlet, focusing on threats of lava, its impact, vulnerable groups, and mitigation effort. Participatory three-dimensional mapping, P3DM, is a methodology comprises the combination of participatory learning and action, PLA, and geographic information system, enabling discussion, information sharing, analysis, collective decision-making, and action-taking to take place, all involving the community by using special knowledge. Pemetaan partisipatif tiga dimensi ini merupakan program penelitian kolaboratif antara Pusat Studi Bencana Universitas Gajah Mada dengan Magister Manajemen Bencana Sekolah Pasca Sarjana UGM yang melibatkan luas antara dosen, peneliti, mahasiswa, dan juga masyarakat di daerah rawan bencana. Nah, sebetulnya pemetaan partisipatif tiga dimensi ini belum banyak dilakukan di Indonesia dan kita berkeinginan untuk mengembangkan penelitian ini di daerah rawan bencana khususnya uh, pada level-level uh, desa dan juga level dusun di daerah uh, pedesaan. Nah, partisipatif, pemetaan partisipatif ini juga uh, bermaksud untuk mendorong uh, partisipasi secara aktif dari masyarakat, pemangku kepentingan dalam mengintegrasikan sebetulnya antara penelitian secara ilmiah dan juga pengetahuan lokal di masyarakat di dalam pengambilan keputusan terkait dengan pengurangan risiko bencana. PP3D merupakan wadah untuk bertukar informasi, berdiskusi, menentukan tindakan maupun kebijakan dengan berbasis pengetahuan keruangan lokal yang mudah dimengerti baik oleh pemerintah maupun penduduk lokal. P3DM involved local people and government in this case, village administrative and community organization, youth and women's groups. There were five people representing each village. One village administrative, one person representing each group, and students as facilitators. Participants of the P3DM project undertake a total of four days, very much depending on the complexity of information to be provided and required scale. The required materials and equipments, topographic maps, high-resolution satellite images, table used as a base, Styrofoam or paperboard, paint, wool thread, push pins or gemstones, 
glue, scissors, marker pens, paintbrush, and duct tape. The process of P3DM. Identification and selection of mapping location. This process is crucial considering the size of maps to be designed. Three D map skill and size decision process. For this activity, size of the three dimension map is one point five by two meters. Preparing table as base. The table is set to match the scale and size of the 3D map. Preparing base map. Base map used in this activity is topographic map showing contours, rivers, roads, and results of GPS surveys. Students as facilitators do the preparation. Base maps are printed on tarpaulin seats. Measuring altitude. Altitude is determined by the area's position relative to a point or object with known elevation, such as bridge or sabo dam. Model making. The making of model begins by transferring its contour. Its contour is traced using base map with carbon paper underneath as reverence. Its styrofoam seed is cut according to contour lines and then glued and staked. After that, cover the stake with several sheets of used newspapers. Wait until the glue dries. Once it dries, apply white paint to the model. Wait until it completely dries. Deciding Legends While waiting for the glue to dry, all participants assisted by the facilitators discuss what to be shown on the 3D map. Next, color for each feature is assigned. After it is shaped properly, dots using gemstones, lines using wool threads, or areas using paint. Plotting data on the map. Data such as roads and rivers should be drawn first on the map. The next step is plotting the data such as lines, for instance administrative boundaries, and areas, for instance land use. At first, plotting is done by placing wool thread. After everyone agrees, Paints are then used for plotting. Once the paint has dried, participants or local people are asked to plot data in the form of dots on the map. For example, house, 
Local people are encouraged to be the main actors for this activity since they are familiar with the locations and types of houses to be replicated. For houses as the map objects, numbering can be done at once to create geographical database. By using the data on family card, adding data on the number of vulnerable people consisting of data on children, pregnant women, and elderly people. Toting additional data related to disaster-prone areas can be done by involving varying levels of stakeholders based on specific case. For instance, geomorphologists or vulcanologists are invited to help identify areas prone to lava. After data plotting, local people, youth, women, and local government are invited to have a group discussion. Setelah kejadian erupsi Merapi dan lahar dingin, kami bekerja sama dengan mahasiswa UGM untuk mengadakan pemetaan partisipatif, yaitu pemetaan yang dilakukan oleh masyarakat dengan tujuan supaya masyarakat itu mengerti akan di mana kami tinggal atau rumah-rumah siapa, dan kemudian juga di situ akan diterangkan mengenai jalur, jalur evakuasi dan tempat-tempat pengungsian supaya nanti masyarakat kalau terjadi bencana lagi itu akan e, bisa mengerti apa yang dilakukan. Kesan dan pesan saya mengikuti kegiatan ini yaitu satu, saya dapat memetakan lokasi rumah warga di pedukuhan kami. Yang kedua, saya dapat mengetahui letak rumah di pedukuhan kami. Yang ketiga, mengetahui daerah rawan bencana. Yang keempat, mengetahui jalur evakuasi di mana nanti pada saat ada bencana kita bisa mengajak warga masyarakat untuk ke tempat yang lebih aman di mana ada titik kumpul dan barak pengungsian. Manfaat yang didapatkan mahasiswa dari pemetaan partisipatif tiga dimensi ini yaitu kami dapat belajar untuk mengimplementasikan konsep pengurangan resiko bencana berbasis masyarakat yang kami dapatkan di perkuliahan dalam kehidupan nyata dalam hal ini bersama masyarakat di Dusun Jelapan kami menggali ide dari masyarakat menggali usulan serta aspirasi dari mereka kami bermusyawarah bersama mereka serta membuat keputusan untuk merencanakan jalur evakuasi dan tempat evakuasi yang paling aman digunakan pada saat terjadi bencana selain itu kami juga dapat belajar untuk meningkatkan pemahaman masyarakat terhadap informasi kewilayahan dengan cara memproyeksikannya dalam peta tiga dimensi. This activity taking place in Jelapan Hamlet is expected to become a pioneer method of participatory three-dimensional mapping which contributes immensely to research and community service in terms of disaster risk reduction. This is in line with the commitment of Universitas Gajah Mada Yogyakarta that is to become a populist campus and to implement the three pillars of higher education. Research-based education and learning, research, both fundamental and applied, and engagement and service to the community. 